Alright, hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod for RimWorld 1.0, and this is the Rim Saves mod. So if I go into the load menu uh, tab over here, and I go into, say for example, a random save, the thing that it tells me is that there's a bit of a mods mismatch, and then I can load the mod list from the save, or I can load anyway. So obviously, you wouldn't want to do this. I've just got core enabled right now. But if I go ahead and enable, don't look at this one. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't also why I have it. If I go ahead and load the mod rim save, rim saves over here, and switch that on, and then I go into the load game menu, this is the rim saves menu, which basically tells you everything there is to know about the save file itself. So, for example, this is my stream save file. This is the one that I've been using on stream. You can see we're about a year in, tells you exactly how far you're in, the difficulty to on number of mods, number of colonies, number of colonists, time spent playing, and then the last couple of events. So you can see roof collapse, cargo pods, cargo pods, cows join, links, blah, 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 poison ship, there's a poison ship, I completely forgot about that. So let's go ahead and load the mod list from a save, and we load the save up, and it's working peachy, so turn off all these dev issues to load game menu and we can load it just like that the mod does a whole lot of other things so for example you can put different saves into different folders so if i wanted to move the save to another folder you can do that by clicking over here deleting it renaming it duplicating the save if you want to so if i wanted to make Velenoe 2 it would make a second one so i can sort of branch off i wanted it to these are the folders so the folder that it's in and stuff like that if you want to open it up create a new folder so if i wanted to say Stream saves, I'll have the second one there, and then I can load this one into stream saves, and then I'll have it there, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, this does the test, and I don't really see a reason to have it, but it is nice that you can. It's always cool to have more options. It does have its own mod settings. So if you want to go ahead and edit any of these, you can. So it's rim saves made by Random Kiwi. We all know him, he's awesome. You can change the amount of auto saves you want. So if you want to go all the way up to 150, you can do that quick save shortcut so if you want to do a quick save shortcut you can do that press f5 and it does it for you 150 saves seems insane that is about a gig and a half of auto saves i will leave it on there for fun for testing purposes of course although i'm not going to show you them in this video because 150 saves is a good couple days of playing i believe no it's every two minutes so 300 minutes of five hours five hours of playing all right see you guys in five hours i'll do that on the stream maybe i'll leave it on there for now though that is the mod though, very short and sweet, it's made by Random Kiwi, so please go take a look at it. One of the cooler mods that we've come across in quite a while, I, I think it's awesome at least. RimWorld could use some more utility mods and I think a Random Kiwi is really really good putting them out. So as you can see the description, organize your saves into folders, no more autosave, overriding between colonies to different folders, save previews, search, quick saves, rename duplicate saves, mass save, removing, which is awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.